3D stuff is hard enough. It shouldn't be crazy expensive too. So I thought I would show you guys one method of using Character Creator 4 and the included assets to create customized tunes. So the first thing to do is find your free stuff. The easiest way to do that is to go under here to free resources. Under your free characters, you will go down and you will find the tunes. And I picked the girl tune. And to start with, I just put her in some of the included clothing, this little turtleneck and skirt, and some of the shoes. I didn't do anything fancy with the clothes, but I did try to make the shoes match. You just mess around with the, the base color map. And then you can um, also, if you want, to give her like she's wearing tights, just change her light color, and that is what I did here. I have found that the only way to get colors that you add to show up well is to reduce the saturation in the diffuse map, and then your colors will show up. So there she is wearing ridiculous high heels. Now, we're going to add some makeup. This is the makeup that is included with Character Creator 4, not the extra makeup pack, which I do have, because God knows I have to buy them all. This will show you what, what you can use on a tune. You can use any of the lipsticks. So I went up here and picked this one, this kind of purpley one, and then I will eventually mess with it when we get her green, but it's okay for now. Probably not hairy eyebrows, because that would look weird on a tune. But I added some blush. Once you add one of these things, please note when you're when you're in it, even though it didn't flip over to the uh, the part where you can edit those, it is active, which is why she didn't have any clothes or eyebrows. But now she does. These don't have any morphs, which is what I was looking for. So if you want to change their shape or their angle, you need to go in and do it using Edit Mesh. Edit Mesh is the coolest thing ever. So I just changed the angle a little bit. Then I make sure that it's not sticking out weirdly. That one is sticking out a little Little, so I moved it in. All right. Now, the tune characters pretty much always look like children. So I went in and I started messing around with the included morphs. So I've already done some here in this particular, the, you know, where you can see and I'm messing with her ears so they don't stick out so much. But I gave her, you know, deeper cheekbones. I've adjusted the shape of her face. Uh, just, just some things to make her look more like a grown-up tune rather than a child tune or a teenage tune. So that's totally depends on what it is you're trying to make. And again, these are only the included morphs. This is not the essential morphs, nor is it the headshot morphs. Um, if you can buy both of those, you want those morphs. I've never used headshot to like take a picture of someone and turn it into a character, but the morphs that are included are amazing. And I do use them with mostly everything else. To make sure I only used the, I'm just adjusting the teeth here, to make sure that I only used the free stuff, I actually waited until I had to install Character Creator on a new SSD without installing the other things. Because once it's in the morphs, it's really kind of hard to tell what's what. So this way I could make sure I'm only using the included morphs. So this is just some, some morphs that I wanted to mess with to just make her different. Her mouth doesn't have to be open here. I'm actually messing with her eyes. Uh, but just some stuff to make it more custom. That was an eyelash check. Her eyelashes look fine there. We will find out later that they will not stay fine. But that's okay. For now, they look fine. Again, just a little bit more to customize her. You can use any of the of the morphs on any character, as long as it's a morph for the correct generation. So this is a CC3 plus character, so the morphs have to work on CC3 plus. The other morph pack is CC3, the paid one, the first paid tune morph pack, which is very cool, and you can convert it, but the CC3 plus morphs won't work. Now, there's some weirdness here in her turtleneck, some weird stuff going on. I'm gonna do a separate video on messing around with clothes, so we're just ignoring that for now. Now, there's only two pieces of hair that are tunish, and neither of them fit what I want this character to be. So I'm just going to use it. I end up using the side part wavy as my starting hair, and I'm not going to mess with it a ton, but I am going to try to make it look less like photo real hair and more like tune hair. Here I actually am looking for morphs for the bangs. Some of these have morphs, the bangs do not. At least these bangs do not, other bangs do. The hair itself does, uh, and always double check. You can't just assume that it has morphs or doesn't have morphs. Here I am starting to work on making her hair look less photo real. Something I didn't do until later, but I'm going to just tell you right now that simplifies this process is either make it PBR or make it traditional up here where it says digital human hair, 
change that. That will make this attempting to tunify a non-tune hair um, a lot simpler. But I don't figure that out for a little bit. There we go. Traditional. It turns out PBR works way better, but I, I didn't know that. So I went with traditional and it wasn't bad. I mean, obviously I, in here, I don't change her hair color to something that isn't white until we get to green, but you can make it anything you want in the same way you change the color of her legs by messing with the diffuse. One of the things I eventually figured out for these is this softness trick on say the opacity map. That really helps just remember to mess with the opacity. You can also mess with the um, contrast and things of that nature that helps. Alpha threshold kind of helped uh, make it look a little more toony. Now I am going to spend some time messing around with the bangs. Um, and what was irritating is they're not exactly the same. They're not built quite the same as the other hair, even though they come together. So, so it was much harder with the bangs. I will eventually give up on the bangs and delete them. But for now, I am messing with, with the whole hair, trying to make them look the same. That was kind of a fight. Now, let's go green. Let's have some fun with her and make her look a little less ordinary. So this one that you might, if you have an eagle eye, you might notice her shape is not exactly the same as uh, what it shows in the picture. Somehow I lost the recording of me doing this part for what we see at the end. So I had to redo it and I didn't redo all the morphs. But this is the same process that I used. So I simply went into the included makeup um, and added a bunch of things in there. This is where I prefer to change their skin. There is a skin thing under digital human skin. I don't like using it. It doesn't seem to do what I want. So I always do it the way I used to do it, which is in the diffuse map. You don't have to only do that for tunes. You can mess with all of those maps and their intensity levels and get some really interesting effects. But for this, I'm going with that kind of yellow green that I seem to like so much. And now I am adding some eye makeup colors, mess around with the blur. I started out with eyeliner and then I ended up adding two different eyeliners. Um, I didn't add any eyeshadow, but the effect I will get is effectively eyeshadow just to, just to see what I could get and have some fun with. So the reason you're not seeing her eyebrows is because we are here in this, this palette tab, which allows you to do the customizing. And all, when you add makeup and stuff, that is automatically activated. It isn't, oh, it doesn't always open. And that is a mistake I will make later where I don't realize that that's been activated and I try to do stuff and it won't let me. I'll point that out when we get there. But that is something to be aware of. To be able to do other edits, you have to go in and uncheck activate editor or you won't be able to do other things. This is me attempting to, I think I'm, I'm doing her eyelashes, but what I'm actually doing are her eyebrows. That is also a really easy mistake to make if you're really ADHD like me and you don't read all the words. Reading all the words helps. I saw eye, I thought it was lashes, it was brows. So I, again, attempting to, to fix something that I, and it's not working because I'm on the wrong thing. I don't notice for a while that I'm on eyebrows. Then I eventually do and go, oh, hey, yeah, let's make those green, that'd be cool. But here I am finally, I should, the opacity map there should have been a clue. Uh, and I am on eyelashes. Now, let's have some fun. There are free makeup effects and I will show you in a different video. I'm gonna make today on how to get, they don't download automatically. You have to go find them. She's a little, I don't know, cyborg robot tune thing. This is the hair green, and in particular, the, I didn't like the bangs that way, so I will end up deleting it. All of the outfits, you see, these things you see here, except for the mask, are free. Uh, there is a lot of free stuff on the marketplace, even if it isn't made by Reillusion. A lot of it is really, really cool. One of the things I'm doing here is I am messing around with her eye sclera, because I just don't think it should be pink and veiny for a tune. I lowered the roughness on them so you would have a really hard reflection, which I think looks a little more toony if you're going to have a reflection. And I, uh, you know, just messed around with it until I got a look I liked, basically. This is the outfit pack that I used that was free and I'll uh, by D Animation. And I will put a link to that in the uh, pinned comment and description. So if you wanna go get this fun free pack for yourself, you can. So there she is in her cute little outfit. And again, I'm not really excited about her hair, but worse, I spent some time trying to make the glasses that come with this pack fit her head. And in the process, I, I had accidentally selected her hair and messed it up. 
So here's how you fix a problem. If you've accidentally changed something and you can't undo it, and I, was, I, I had closed the app and opened it back up so I couldn't undo it, go in and save like the maps you want. In this case, what I had done is I saved the, the diffuse map. I didn't really care at this point about the other ones, but I would have saved those. Then you go back and you add in your customized map, which is what I do here uh, to get the green hair again. So I've made it PBR, which I think makes it look pretty toony, and then I just add in the map. So I didn't need some of the other customized maps when I went with PBR. So that's a tip. If you want it to look toonier, make the hair a PBR texture. I am just kind of messing around with the scalp because it shouldn't be brown if her hair is green. And then I have a toon character. Now, a render tip, I have shown this before, but I want to highlight it because I think it makes a huge difference. If you are going to use global illumination, one of the things you want to do is you want to go into your GI tab and if your computer can handle it, change the voxel cones. You can go 16, you, and I tend to go 32. I have a fairly beefy computer. You can go as high as 64. You have to type in the number. Now, I encountered another problem after I gave her a render, and that is somewhere along the line, I messed up those eyelashes. Remember, I did a check earlier and they were fine? Yeah, they're not fine now. Morphing didn't work. What I ended up needing to do, and that's why I wanted to show this, is use the Edit Mesh tool and use Element to select. Now, I ran into a problem at first because there are two eyelash meshes. And the first one is invisible, but it's also in the way. So it takes me a little bit to figure out that I need to, I was trying to do them at the same time, but that doesn't work again, because this thing is in the way, but I don't realize it. And I, so I just, I, I spent time I didn't have to spend on it until I finally realized just pull them out of the way. Especially if you're going to export that mesh will disappear because it's a hidden mesh. Just make it go away. So that's what I did it. I never saw them floating in the air, so they never had a map applied to them. Now I can use the, uh, you know, W and translate key and attempt to get those eyelashes into a position that's a little better for what I'm trying to do. So that is what's going on. It won't be perfect. I could have messed with it a lot more, um, but I, uh, I didn't have the patience <laughs> at that point. Um, and I think she looks, still looks darling. I don't, I don't think I had to, but you can see there's a little bit of a distance between the front of the eyelash. I could have used rotation and probably fixed that, but I decided I didn't care. We have a super cute little alien sci-fi cyberpunk type tune. We started out with a base and without buying a single thing or at least not spending any money, we have gotten a really cute customized tune. I hope that gives you some inspiration and you will try to do something fun with your tune characters. If you found this video helpful, give it a like so it can help other people too. Thank you so much.